Hey, good afternoon again to you, Jeremy. Uh, this is Brett, and I'm here to show you the 2012 Santa Fe Highlander that you'd inquired about earlier today. Uh, hopefully, mate, you'll find it to be in as good a condition as I do, and yeah, certainly for a, you know, a car that's four to five years of age, it's a really nice, clean vehicle. There's a couple of little things on it which I'll show you, which I hope you would probably expect is reasonable for a car of that age and being a second-hand car, but overall it's a very, very high standard and a good, clean car. So just taking you around it now, uh, as I said, on that side of things, I just wanted to sort of show you there are no stone chips as such throughout the body. I, I've had a good look over it that way. There is one or two little marks on some wheels, which I'll show you. But just reflecting here now, uh, going around the body in that regard, very clean and straight just taking you down the tyres are a nice fresh healthy tyre on there as well as you'll see and of course the alloy rim in this instance hasn't been damaged got no marks no issues or anything else to you its name there just taking you down the side of the vehicle this front wheel however it does have a little gutter ash on the top there which you might notice a fairly superficial little mark I would say due to a tyre rotation that's come off the rear left hand side but as I just take you around the front of the car, again, there are no stone chips, there are no marks, all that stuff's been addressed and been painted. So again, it's just a really clean, fresh body. There's nice LED lighting through the front of the car as well for you now. Again, around this side, no marks whatsoever on that wheel. Tire again, still quite a healthy tire. But again, nice and fresh with regards to your um, <coughs> front passenger side. Again, showing you down the body of the passenger side as well, just to recap a bit, as you probably noticed, got nice factory hind eye roof racks and a tow bar on this vehicle as well. But again, as I walk you through the car, no marks on this wheel whatsoever. So the only rim really is the one on the front left hand, front right hand side, which I'd say originally came off this back corner here. But again, as I'll just take you around the back of the car, again, no damage, no marks at all to the exterior. So at this point I'm probably only really finding the tyres, uh, the rim on that side and of course from there having the, um, the inside mark which you did notice on there as well. So again it's got your split fold seating which will give you that option there as well. So again there's a couple of little kick marks which are on the back of the trim. Now whether you put seat covers on them or whether you don't, uh, again it's a very practical size car. For that sort of thing as well given that even as the third row all passengers have still got of course marks uh, got air conditioning cup holders those sorts of things all available to you in the vehicle all the leather of course in the seating this is a nice fresh clean tidy leather it's showing you in the center row now so again all your magazine holders in the back are all still perfectly sound so you've got a coffee holder and drink holder there in the vehicle for you as well. So again, all through your leather seating is quite a good standard of car. Extremely clean and tidy in that respect. Carpets are all perfectly clean and in high standard. And this particular one, of course, has got the full panoramic sunroof. So as I just pan up the top there, sort of show you the roof itself. And as I get back into the front of the car now, electronic seating of course, all your options there for power windows, doors and mirrors, etc. You also have as I hop in the driver's seat, said so you've got the downhill safety descent mode, you've got traction control, you've got anti-lock brakes, obviously the economizer, cruise control as well, all your stereo and obviously Bluetoothing functions in there as well for you. Uh, bringing you into here. As you may be aware, just as I turn a few features on inside the car for you. <coughs> Bring everything up there where we need. Okay, so if you wanted to, you've got the option there, just as I bring it up for you, showing you that it's all satellite navigation. It is also Got your reversing camera in there for you as well. So as I revert back to there, and of course for your standard radio function there, 
nice freezing cold climate control air conditioning uh, ventilated seating in there as well for you so you'll certainly appreciate that on those cold mornings nice seat warmers in the car for you uh, just showing you as well now with the service history uh, the car's pretty much been maintained its whole life uh, it was actually previously owned by company Energex which are a power, the, a power company here in Queensland but everything under that lease agreement all the servicing has been done through the dealer so just to sort of show you a couple of those obviously even going back to 30,000 kilometres 18,000 kilometres and of course the introductory one there but right up until the point where we are at this stage which the last one was carried out there at 84,000 kilometres but always been through Metro Hyundai again through there so all the servicing has been maintained through a Hyundai dealership and of course right at this point we've just uh, done the last service that's on the car as well so everything in there all your books of course your satellite navigation all your books and everything for the car related to the vehicle are all in there for you as well of course it comes with a smart start key ignition so we're going with that one in there that's all a part of it and of course you just basically press the button to start the car you've got auxiliary plugs you've got all those options in there as well plenty of upgraded features in that respect and I'm just going to obviously uh, open the bonnet let you check that over as well Oh yeah, mechanically it drives as sound as anything. All the services have been maintained, so it hasn't missed any services. But yeah, you're right, about the five services that have been done on the car have all been done through Hyundai dealership. I'm just giving you a bit of a look over the car's engine bay now. But as you see, even with 90,000 k's on the clock there, Jeremy, it's a really clean and certainly above average condition. Most of the time when we get them through government agencies and places like that, they've been on a lease agreement. So they have maintained really good service history, which is always a part of the conditions of that lease. So again, just bringing you back to basically the vehicle that we started out. So again, that is the 2012 Suzuki, ah, beg your pardon, Hyundai Highlander Santa Fe seven-seater turbo diesel wagon. It'd be a pleasure to see if we can get that on a truck and get it down to Brisbane for you. Uh, don't miss it. It's a very, very well-priced car. Happily uh, see what we can do to work in with some transport arrangements and. Uh, yeah, look forward to getting your thoughts tomorrow. Thank you. See ya.